UTVs can be intimidating, especially if you've never been in one. I want to give you a first-hand look on how to drive a Polaris so that you know that it's just like a car. First of all, if you're new to UTVing and you're looking at a Polaris, you're looking at the right machine. Polaris is probably one of the most versatile brands, and it's also one of the most turnkey machines. Three main components of a UTV, the steering wheel, the shift lever, and the go and stop pedals, just like in Fast and the Furious. First, I'll explain the gears. You have park, reverse, neutral, low, and high. Park is your parking brake. Reverse makes you go backwards. Neutral is so you can rev it up and show off for your friends. Low is a low gear. When it's in low gear, you get a more even distribution of power to the wheels. This gear is for rock crawling, or really if you're stuck anywhere, low gear should help you crawl out of it. High gear is what you'll keep it in most of the time when you're riding on the trails, on the road, around your yard. You'll keep it in high and that can kind of be considered as the drive mode like in a car. This is a Polaris General, which is a crossover utility machine. So it actually has three different drive modes. The first one is rear wheel drive. That's your standard one. You'll save the most gas that way. The next one is four wheel drive. That's better suited for the trails. And the last one is turf mode, which only gives power to one of the rear wheels. This will save you from ripping up your backyard. To start the machine, you have to keep your foot on the brake and turn the key just like in a car. Then you can put it into high gear and off you go. Happy riding. Dang it. <laughs>